What's going on, second graders? Mr. Hunter here. Um, I have your your second grade language today, and it's on page 217, and then we're going to do 218 as well. Um, pretty much, it's a short lesson today because I'm just going to be explaining to you what you're doing. It's a review with some of the lessons that we've already been learning with contractions, with possessive versus past tense. So let's just walk through the directions. You should have your page 217, 218. Uh, take your pencil. Write your name at the top, write today's date, April 1st, and then um, let's dive right in, okay? So number one, it says we're going to read the clue and we are going to unscramble the word. The first letter of each word is orange. So that gives you a hint right there. So if you want to, you can do this on a separate sheet of, separate sheet of paper so you don't um, clutter your page and write too much, but we're gonna try this. So it says this, it's gonna give us a hint and then we have the scrambled word and we have to unscramble it. So let's read the first part. It says, use, use this to get dry when you take a shower. Hmm. Use this to get dry when you take a shower. So if you take a shower or a bath, you use this to get dry. What is that? I think we all know it is a towel. So with that hint, how do we spell towel? Well, we know the first letter is going to be the T because that's the orange word. And then we put that down. And then if we know the next letter, we put that in the order and you're gonna spell it out correctly. You're doing this the entire time down here. Um, let's look at number two. If you throw a ball up, it will come. So if I took a ball, I don't have a ball right here. Just have a football just sitting right here. If I throw a ball up, it almost hit me, but it came down, right? <laughs> if you throw a ball up, it will come down. So we know the first letter is gonna be orange. So that's a D, so we put that and then we spell it out correctly. Um, a baby dog. What's a baby dog? You guys know this? So you see the directions. They're pretty simple, but it's just helping you unscramble. It's trying to refresh some of the things we've taught. And then a fun activity at the bottom, a kaleidoscope. Number two, it says a kaleidoscope is a tube with mirrors and tiny pieces of colored beads or glass. As you look into it and turn the tube, you will see many beautiful patterns. Look through the special sounds kaleidoscope. All right, this is a special sounds kaleidoscope. And then you're gonna color the special sounds using your own color key to make a beautiful pattern. So here's what's cool about this. The R sound, you're gonna look at all the words that have an R sound and you're going to color it whatever color you want. For the air sound, whatever color you want, but you have to take that crown or that colored pencil and put the color in there so you don't forget, all right? You have that O sound, all right? What sound is that? And then when you have the I and lid, I and lid, you're gonna color it whatever, whatever you want. And then the J sound, okay? So all of the colors will vary. The really cool thing about this is that each one of you, you can have a different kaleidoscope and I'll see different colors for each one. And I'm looking forward to checking that out uh, really soon. So that's a really simple exercise along with the first one where you're unscrambling the words. Let's turn the page to 218. And then you're gonna have uh, number one at the top. It says, read the sentences. So what is the first uh, rule that you're doing? You're reading the sentences. And then what is the second thing you're doing? You're circling the correct verb. So I blank for exercise is what the first sentence says. I run for exercise or I runs for exercise. Make sure you're listening to what you're saying because when you say it out loud, not just in your head, when you read the actual sentence and hear yourself say it, sometimes the answer will jump right out at you and you'll know exactly what you're supposed to circle. So does it say underline? Does it say put a line there? No, it says circle. So you need to circle the correct verb for all of that in number one and on all those sentences in number one and take your time reading, okay? Make sure you say the words out loud and read the sentence, practice reading it. For number two, it says mark the bubble next to the word that tells what the underlined word is. So what does that mean? It means that we have to read the sentence first and then we have to tell what it is. We have to tell if it's a contraction or if it's possessive. So let's look. The first sentence says, I'm reading a very good book. Did it say anything about possession? Does it say anything about whose book it was or who owns the book or who has the book? No, it didn't. So what is the other one? It says contraction. What is I'm as a contraction? I'm is short for I am. So that is a contraction. Remember we took two words and we smushed them together to make one. So that is gonna be a contraction. So which bubble do we bubble in? Contraction, all right? You're gonna do the same thing really identifying uh, uh, when you're showing possession, you put an apostrophe and then an S. So look out for those clues when you're looking down there and then look at the words. If you see something that is a contraction, try to think about what, what two words they took and made one. 
and smush together. All right, let's look at number three. It says, write an interrogative sentence. If you could talk to a jungle explorer, what would you ask him? So looking at that picture, these are giving us some, some clues, some things that we could say in our question. It says, write an interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence means that you're asking a question. And if you could talk to a jungle explorer, what would you ask him? This is not a wrong answer. You literally can ask any question you want. I was gonna say something to you, but I want you to use your imagination, use your creativity and write that down there, okay? You guys can do that. If you don't know what a kaleidoscope is or have never seen one, I'm gonna try to find a link and put it in the uh, YouTube video uh, or a link to a YouTube video underneath of this so you can know, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow with a more thorough lesson. We're gonna keep talking about contractions, all right?